Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch on an absolutely grim uh, bank holiday Easter weekend 2024. Um, so we're out here doing some videos. It's, it's often it's a little bit quiet sometimes on bank holidays because everybody is going away in their vans instead of coming down here to change them or they're popping into our shop and buying the toilet chemicals they forgot to bring with them. So this has given me the opportunity to come out and do some videos. And this one has just been uh, delivered to us from Germany. It's a brand new 2024 Deathless Globe bus i6 so death lefts are part of the german heimer group um they're actually one of the oldest motorhome manufacturers uh, in the world um, going back to pre-war days i believe anyway don't hold me to that and they build high quality german built uh, a classes and coach built vans so this is an a class or an i for integrated so you've got semi integrated uh, which are the ones with a cab on the front with opening doors and then you've got fully integrated and this has been built on a skeleton chassis from new so when this was built by fiat it's just a bare chassis dashboard seats and then death lefts in germany do the rest benefit of it is it carries the width all the way to the front so it's no wider actually than coach built van people think they are but they're not but by carrying the width all the way to the front you get the benefit of the massive panoramic windows you can have a swing down front bed which doesn't uh, wipe out your lounge completely when it's down and also there's no fiat cab doors you do have a cab door it's there on the passenger side um, but that's obviously a proper most home door so they're warmer basically it's a complete insulated box so let's have a little look at this one so it's a brand spanking new death left globe bus is6 140 brake based on the Fiat Ducato chassis, four berth, four seat belts. Now the Globe Bus range is the narrow body lightweight range from Deathless. Most European manufacturers do something like that. Heimer started it off with the uh, Heimer Exis I, fully integrated lightweight range, and this is Deathless take on that. So it's under seven meters. It's in the cheaper ferry bracket. Instead of being 2.35 wide, like everything else, it's 2.2, uh, which makes a big difference down the lanes. 2.81 tall, and this is the important bit, 3.5 tonne maximum weight with a payload of just over half a tonne. So that is very important because it means anybody can drive it on a normal car license and there's no sort of restrictions on access or anything like that like you'll get with the heavier ones. Price is £100,000. It's an awful lot of money. However... It stacks up well if you compared this to uh, an Exus I588 of similar spec from Heimer, you'll be paying an extra 15 to 20,000 pounds on top, and yet you're still getting with this one premium German build quality from a very well respected manufacturer. Just looking at the outside, you've got this very distinctive front end with the red chin spoiler, five spike Fiat alloys. So, your cab doors on the passenger side, of course, these are designed for a left hand drive chassis as the rest of Europe is. Um, so, your cab access is through there. Flush fit double glazed windows all the way around. Diesel full up point there with your Ad Blue. So, it's obviously the latest Euro 6 final engine. Got main hook up, leisure battery. As with all German vans, uh, not everything's a factory option. So, you probably want to just allow an extra thousand or two just for kitting it up with things like solar panels and extra bits and bobs like that. Toilet cassette locker there. This one I would guess is a gas locker, but it might not be, it might be in the garage. I should have looked at that beforehand. Layout at the back is longitudinal singles over a garage. It turned into a big double, basically like every other German motorhome on the market it sings, but it just works, it really does. Coming around the back, you've got automotive styling. There's a twin reversing camera. Interestingly, it doesn't come with a head unit. Uh, this is the first death lefts we've had down here in Devon, so we'll have to find out what you do about that. But it does come with a very high quality Waco twin reversing camera, so we'll just have to fit you something for that to feed into. Now, garage, I think is open on this side. So benefit of the sing longitudinal single bed stroke big double over the garage, it gives you a humongous garage. And this is an absolutely humongous garage, as you can see. So you'll get bikes or whatever you want in there. There's tie down points, mains electric points, uh, charging your bikes. You've got your awning winder handle, two full size doors and a light in there as well. Yeah, so everything you could need storage wise there. I remember it's under seven meters this van as well, but there's no compromise on it. It's a very spacious, practical thing. Flew for your Truma gas or mains electric powered heating and hot water system. And then we've got your mains hookup 
and behind this one a gas barbecue point for running a gas barbecue off of your gas bottle in the gas locker without taking it out. Fridge vent for your three-way fridge freezer and Thule Omni store full length awning. So what do you have to add to it? Nothing so much, so head unit maybe, like we can fit you whatever you want in terms of stereo and navigational system. Uh, TV aerial, if you're televisionists, a lot of time these days people aren't, they want Wi-Fi, or they're just streaming stuff. And you'll need an alarm with, or tracker for security with whatever you buy. So you've got a nice wide electric step and a nice wide door. And coming in size, the battery's not connected at the moment, so I can't put the step out. Now this is where it gets a bit different compared to the Hymer Exis i588, which is very much the main competitor for this in the marketplace. What they haven't done is put in a side seat. So if you look at most fans doing this layout in seven meters, it's got a side seat there, pushes the door back, and you lose floor space, or you do gain an extra bit of seating space. But this has got all of this room there. So you've got an L-shaped sofa there, really comfortable leather, soft leather seating. Is it real leather? I don't know, it might be. But yeah, sort of very comfortable two-tone, not all grey for a change. And that big bit of floor space, so I would say for those with a dog or maybe just want a little bit easier van to move around, this is the one to go for. Now obviously the plus side of the fully integrated, the A-class van, so you've got this massive open cab area which is such a nice place to sit. Now above it is a manual swing down bed, so both of these cab seats are Agouti cab seats, so they're not Fiat seats, they're Agouti specialist motorhome seats. Twist that lever, they will collapse forward and then that will swing down. Now, with a double bed obviously. So cab specification, it's the very latest Fitch Casso X8, which is a fantastic driving thing. It really, really is. Light, nimble, economical, nine-speed ZF German fully automatic gearbox from the world's leading manufacturer of automatic gearboxes. Uh, soon to disappear from Fiat, unfortunately, due to supply issues, but this one's got it. You grab it while you can. Leather bound gear stick and steering wheel. We've got um, steering wheel mounted controls for your cruise control. There's an electronic handbrake, which isn't standard, but it is on these. Cab climate control instead of manual air conditioning. Another thing standard on these, but not standard Fiat equipment. Full cab blinds on the front and side, as you'd expect. All nice and easy to do. And big rear speakers as well there. It's uh, really, really good. So two-tone off-white grey pastely neutrally coloured sort of cabinet work all the way around. It is a lightweight van so don't expect it to feel like everything's made of tree trunks because they have designed this to be practical at three and a half ton and that is a big bonus. Kitchen wise obviously you can prep on your table and then you've got extra worktop there. Kitchens are never a major point in European vans they just don't cook in their vans but this one's a decent one so you've got two gas burners and a combi oven and grill which they've squeezed in for the UK market of course we're the only country that wants ovens and grills in their vans and then big storage with a bin as well light up splashback, concertina blinds and fly screens and all the windows nice deep cabinets Deathless uh, signature control panel has been around forever and a day it always reminds me it's a little bit a little bit Art Deco almost, but um, so a kind of retro sort of look, but very, very easy. Push buttons, no stupid touch screens. Heater controls for your gas and electric powered heating and hot water system. A gas bottle locker heater to stop your gas from freezing in extreme cold temperatures. These are, of course, designed for extreme cold. And up above, we've got a nice big opening skylight. TV bracket there. If you want a TV area, we can fit one. It's got a 12 volt and a TV socket already fitted there. And then a big slimline fridge freezer, which you'll see in a lot of vans, just takes up less length for the uh, for the capacity. Bathroom. Bathrooms are sometimes something which you will just sort of find a compromise with with the narrow body vans, but this one's a good one. So we've got a proper separate shower there with a hanging rail within, vent in the roof, nice deep basin there, and plenty of storage cupboards with your Thetford toilet cassette. So all the stuff you'd expect to find in a bathroom. I like the full height mirror alongside of it as well, that's cool. Now to the back you've got the layout that you'll see 
in thousands of other German vans. And uh, the reason you see it in that is because it works, in fairness to it. Would it be great if they can come up with something different? Yes, but they can't because this is the best option for most people. So you've got big side single beds, and then the option to have the middle filled in like that, or you can remove that for easier bed access, basically. Massive storage both in the garage underneath and in either side. So you've got a hanging rail in there, so you've got a massive wardrobe there. This one is shelved out. And then you've got another wardrobe alongside of it there. So you've got two wardrobes, hers and hers. Open storage along the sides, which I kind of like. Makes it feel more spacious by not cabinetizing them. And then uh, big storage cupboards at the back. And we've got main socket. We got any USBs back there? Why do manufacturers do that? You know what? Well, you're building a motorhome in the 21st century and you don't put USB chargers in the bedroom. That is infuriating. Now I get around that with my van by simply having a um, little battery pack for a standing one, um, which I just keep my phone plugged into overnight. But this day and age, come on manufacturers, give us USB sockets everywhere, but particularly in the bedroom. That's ridiculous. Uh, but apart from that, it's a cracking van, if the budget allows, the quality is superb, uh, you get obviously your 10 year damp warranty, 2 years from Fiat, 2 years from death left on the equipment, and you've got a high, high quality van that's unlikely to suffer from damp, you've got a nice LED strip lighting all the way around, and it's just a real good thing, and a little bit different for those who want a lightweight 7 meter A class with a lot of floor space, don't think there's much to beat this. And that's available here straight away. You can come and buy it from us at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch. You can give us a call, 01626832792. Hit the option for motorhome sales. If we're busy, leave a message or call direct on the mobile, which is 07432 662558. Check us on the highbridgecaravans.co.uk website. Come and see us at Newton Abbott Devon, just between Exeter and Plymouth on the South Devon Expressway. And ask us about this wonderful Deathless Globe Bus i6. Thank you very much. Goodbye.